Brooke, we are keeping an eye on major snow potential tomorrow. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Emily Walls. Hey, it looks like our snow is actually going to begin late tonight, so we do have warnings and advisories that are going to be going into effect at 3 a.m. tonight. That's going to continue all the way through noon on Saturday. So this is going to be a long duration event for us. All locations that you see here highlighted in pink, that is our winter storm warning, where we're going to be seeing six plus inches of snow. Locations that are in purple here, that's the winter weather advisory. You're still counting on substantial snow, but it's just that your impacts aren't going to be quite as high. I don't think we're going to reach that six inches for most of you that are in the advisory area, but here's what a lot of us are going to be ending up with. So eight to 12 inches going to be possible across the far west, the northwest suburbs, kind of following right along I-88 and north of there. So starting at around eight inches near 88 and then working our way upwards the further north and northwest that you go. Lesser amounts south. Something to pay attention to is we're also going to have that lake influence. The lake waters are still pretty close to 40 degrees in many locations. So with an easterly wind, that's going to cut down on snow at least near the lakefront. So this is going to last all the way through Friday night into Saturday. Dangerous travel is expected, especially uh, Friday night into the overnight hours into early on Saturday. Whiteout conditions are going to be possible. I'll time the storm out for you coming up. Do you like snow? A little bit. You gotta love sledding. You like this much snow? No, absolutely not. Suburban residents are gearing up for round two of blizzard-like conditions. And in Aurora, the city is preparing its crews for the second storm in just three days. We sent our Elizabeth Matthews to Aurora to check out preparations. Hi, Elizabeth. Yeah, hey, Scott and Don, the name of the game tonight for City Crews is, of course, you guessed it, rest. For residents, it's rush to the store for that extra bag of salt. This next storm set to be a doozy, and folks are ready. It's Chicago. <laughs> it's Chicago. That it is. Two strong winter storms in one week. Bad for backs, good for business. A lot more snow blower uh, interest than shovel right now. Right now, yes, especially with the heavy, heavy, wet stuff coming in. At the Aurora Ace Hardware on North Lake Street, salt is hard to come by, and shovels are almost gone. It's for the kids. Thank you. We found many residents taking the time Thursday night to make a pit stop for preparations. And I used it a lot, yes, the last time. I wanted to make sure I had enough before it maybe sold out. Buying some salt, getting ready for the next storm. Are you ready for the next storm? I don't think so, but I'm going to try as best as I possibly can. With blizzard-like conditions, police are warning people to just stay home. But if you do drive and get in trouble, call 911, but then try to move your car. That's where you kind of see sometimes those pileups of cars getting into multiple accidents. If you have the ability to get off the roadway safely, do so. Road crews will be working around the clock to clear the roads with weather condition information coming in from Natalie Wiza and her emergency management team. She says the system will start in the afternoon as a rain snow mix but quickly turn. As we hit that evening commute time, we've been advised by National Weather Service that that's where the zero visibility is going to come in. And she says they'll also watch out for things like loss of utilities, loss of heat during the storm. If you live in Aurora and you need some sort of assistance, you could dial these three numbers, 256. We cannot stress enough, especially tomorrow, if you're out and about and you see those plows, you see those emergency vehicles, give them plenty of space. And as for yourself behind the wheel, give yourself plenty of space and time to come to a complete stop when you need to. Live in Aurora, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.